Let's explore together how to use the NPV function in Excel. So here we have a series of cash flows, and these are nominal cash flows, or we can say they're undiscounted cash flows. So we're getting 10,000 in a year's time all the way to 10 years time. Now we've already calculated something called the discount factor, which is one divided by one plus the discount rate, which is 10%, and then to the power of the period, or year, so in this case that's one, and so on. And, it will, and if we move to the next one, you'll see it's to the power of two. Everything else in the equation is the same. So what we're saying here, of course, is a dollar, let's say, if we use a currency, uh, that we receive in 10 years' time is worth 39 cents in today's current present value dollars. And that's why when we multiply these out, we get the present values. And then as a check, what we have is you sum those all up, and it should give us 61446. Okay, that's the long way. Now we're going to do it the quick way with the NPV function. It's kind of cool. Watch this. Equals NPV. We actually need the rate. And I'm going to hit just F4 just to be safe. And then we just need the cash flows. Now with the NPV function, it is assumed that the first cash flow you highlight is happening in one period's time. It's not now or year zero. So just remember it has to be the first cash flow in the future in one period's time. We just highlight that, close the bracket. We got the number we were looking for. That's how to use the NPV function in Excel.